Hello everybody, this is Angie at Cuckoo for Coupons and this is my Walgreens haul for the week of November 17th through November 23rd. So I just ended up doing one transaction at Walgreens today. So I'm gonna go over everything that I grabbed, what coupons I used, all of that stuff. But before I do, if you guys could just take a second and give this video a big thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so yet, if you could just take a moment and hit that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell, that way you'll know when I post my videos, I would be super grateful. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Please say hello in the comments below. I would love to say hello back to you. And if you've been here since the beginning or even just a few days, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget, I will have a printable breakdown below the video in the description box that you can just print out and take to the store with you, and it's gonna make your shopping so much easier. All right, let's go ahead and get into my Walgreens haul. So of course, I don't have any digital spend boosters to work with. I don't think anybody is getting them right now, but I do have this monthly booster that I have been tracking towards. It is a spend 35 five times and earn $20 in Walgreens cash. And I've kind of been going back and forth on whether I was gonna finish it or not. But when I first got to Walgreens this morning before I did my transaction, I did pick up some photos and I ended up getting a paper spend booster. And I have not seen a paper spend booster in so long but it was a spend 15 and get $5 back in Walgreens cash. So I figured because I had that paper spend booster and I already have a couple of trips tracked towards this monthly booster that I might as well go ahead and spend $35 at least in this transaction before coupons so that I can track another trip. So that is what I did, but if you guys are looking for paper spend boosters, apparently they're printing again, at least for some, and they did print when I picked up my photos. So maybe have some photos developed. Okay, so the first items that I grabbed were some of the Garnier Fructis hair care. So initially, I was gonna grab either two of the shampoo and conditioner or a couple of the stylers that were two for $8 because we have a three off two digital and they are buy two, get back a $3 register award. But we also received a $10 off of three digital that includes some of the Garnier Fructis and some of the Garnier Whole Blends products. But it's on the bigger bottles and the more expensive bottles. But for some reason, when I scanned these products, which are part of the buy two and get a $3 register award. And they're also two for eight. When I scan these and they are the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner, they were attaching to that $10 coupon. And they seem to be the only one out of all the ones that were priced two for $8. So I decided to grab three of those because my store had exactly three and the deal was gonna end up being better than just grabbing two and using the three off of two. So I grabbed three for a total of $12. I used that 10 off of three digital coupon and that brought them down to $2 for three, but then I got back a $3 register award for buying two of them. So it made all three of them free plus a $1 moneymaker. And if you buy two of them, you're gonna end up paying $2. So it is a much better deal to do it this way. Of course, you have to be able to find this particular product and you have to find three of them. And that's probably not gonna be an easy thing to do now. But don't get me wrong, the other deal is a great deal as well. If you buy two of them for $8, use your three off of two, bringing them to five, then get back a $3 register reward, making two of them $2. That is still a good deal if you can't find these. 
Next up, I grabbed another hair care deal. So the Aussie products are buy one, get one, 40% off. Pretty much nothing was tagged in my store today, but they're also buy two, get back a $3 register award. So I decided to grab two of the Aussie Instant Freeze Gels. So these are priced $5.99 each, but at buy one, get one 40% off. The first one is gonna be $5.99. The second one is gonna be $3.59. So together they total $9.58. I use this four off of two digital that we all should have received, bringing them down to $5.58 for both. But then I'm gonna get back that $3 register award, making both of them $2.58 or just $1.29 each. Next up, I decided to grab some of these large bags of Halls Cough Drops. These are the 80 count bags and they're priced two for $13. We have a $1.25 off of two digital coupon. So after using that, that brings them down to $11.75 for both. But then I'm going to submit my receipt to Ibotta for a dollar back on each of them for a total of $2 back, bringing them down to $9.75 for both. Then I'm going to submit my receipt to my points for 510 points for buying two, which is the equivalent of $3.06, bringing them down to $6.69 for both. And then I'm going to submit my receipt to checkout 51 for $1.25 back on each bag for a total of $2.50 back, making both of them just $4.19 or just $2.09 each. And I think that's a good deal for the 80 count bag. And then lastly, I'm gonna grab a couple of the Oral-B toothbrushes. So these are not tagged either, but they are priced $3.50 each and they're buy two, get back a $3 register reward. So I'm gonna grab two of them for a total of $7. We have a $3 off of two digital coupon. So I'm gonna use that. That is gonna bring them down to $4 for two, but then I'm gonna get back a $3 register reward, making both of them just $1 or only 50 cents each. And actually, stay tuned for a little update on this deal. At least I think it was this deal. So stay tuned for that. So this is everything I'm getting in this transaction. Everything you see here totals $41.58. So I am well above the $35 I needed to spend for my monthly booster. And I am definitely above the $15 I needed to spend for my paper booster. So I'm good to go with those. And here you can see that paper booster of spend 15 and get five. I also have four different $3 register rewards that I'm gonna use to lower my out of pocket. So I'm gonna take all of this and head to the register. And here is my receipt. So everything rang up as it should. The cashier scanned my paper spend booster of spend 15 and get $5 in Walgreens cash. She scanned all four of my $3 register awards. My 10 off of three for the Garnier did come off. My $4 off of two for the Aussie. My $3 off of two for the Oral-B. And then my $1.25 off of two for the Halls. My subtotal was $11.33. So that is what I paid. But then I have to add the register awards that I used to that. So I technically paid $23.33 for all of these items. But then I got back $12 in register awards. I got my $3 register award for buying two of the Garnier, my $3 register award for buying two of the Aussie, my $3 register award for buying two of the Oral-B, but then the Catalina machine spit me out another $3 register award, and I think this one is on the Oral-B as well. So that means that there's some sort of glitch going on, 
And when you buy the Oral-B toothbrushes, instead of getting a $3 register award, you're getting two $3 register awards. So that would make the toothbrushes free plus a $2 moneymaker. So that was a nice little surprise to get an extra $3 register award, but I have no idea how long this glitch is going to last. So I wouldn't count on getting it because they might correct it, but you never know. So I did get $12 back in register awards. Then I got a total of $5.41 in Walgreens cash, five for my paper spend booster, and the rest is just everyday Walgreens cash. Then I did submit my receipt to Ibotta and I got $2 cash back for the hauls. And then I also submitted my receipt to my points where I got 510 points, which is the equivalent of $3.06. And then I also submitted my receipt to Checkout 51 and I did get my $2.50 back from there. So in the end, I got all of these items for free plus a $1.36 moneymaker, and I will take it. Now, if I didn't get that extra $3 register award, there would have been a cost. It would have been $1.36 for all of these items. And I did check, and this transaction did track towards my monthly booster, so now I only have two purchases left. And that is it. That is everything I got in my Walgreens haul today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would really help out my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and good luck couponing.